What's up, Tim Sykes here with Dan P of Trade Zero. I just opened an account. I'm very excited Woo! with my small account challenge. If you click the link below, you can see a link. It's called Sykes Zero. We have a whole bunch of bonuses. Very proud to be working uh, with a broker, finally. Very excited to really create some amazing content together. Let's today talk about short selling because right. last time I heard you were king of the short sellers and I call short sellers lepers. So basically you're king of the lepers. Uh, How does that feel to we'll live own, in a cave? We will, we will own that because as many of you may or may not know, short selling provides um, liquidity to the market. It, Leprosy? <laughs> it provides a way for, to keep the wheel turning uh, for, the, for the markets to, to function properly and normally. And for us, Short selling has been a, an area where we've really focused on. We spent a lot of time, energy, effort in building out the technology, building yeah. the relationships so that we can facilitate short sales in a very quick, easy, robust way. On our platforms, people can, whether it be our mobile, our web, desktop, doesn't matter. You can access the, the, uh, the locate system. Yeah. So if you want to short something that's not easy to borrow, yeah. we have a great tool that allows you to do that. It's so great that it not only allows you to get the, the locate on it, but when you no longer need it, you can actually monetize those locates oh, really? by selling them back to the next guy cool. that wants to short those stocks. So why do most lepers like to short sell? I think they find opportunity in stocks going down. I think uh, they, they provide a, a way that they can potentially profit. Listen, if you've ever been in a long trade yeah. and uh, you know, hoping that things going to go up and all of a sudden some news or something happens and the thing, stock just plummets. Yeah. I think a lot of people realize and get exposure to how quickly stocks can go down and yes. sort of opens them up to the shorting gameplay. All jokes aside, I've made millions of dollars of shorting um, these plays, a lot of you know penny stock pump and dumps over the years. I haven't shorted anything right now in nearly two years. I'm going to re-enter the, the leper colony and <laughs> myself, I'll become king of the lepers. Hopefully, you know, I'll... I'll There's might, room for you, Tim. There's I room. I wear some different stuff. Like, I'll have a hood to hide, like, the diseased skin on my forehead in the future once I rejoin the shorts. But it's kind of like the return of the king because I got a lot of people into short selling penny stocks. Part of the reason I haven't shorted is because we've been in this crazy bubble. The squeezes have been insane. But Dan is right. When these plays drop, they drop so fast. And frankly, I mean, I do miss that thrill ride. Like, it was fun. Like, I call it like short selling surfing, where you're surfing a wave of sellers and it's a tsunami, right? So, this yeah. is like point break, and you're surfing this giant wave. You know, all the longs are trying Look to get out get, below. Yeah, all the longs <laughs> are trying to get out. They're trying, they're like, why isn't my stop getting taken? And they don't understand, like, if there's too many sellers, your stop is irrelevant, right? So, yeah. it's kind of fun short selling. I think that we've come to the point with 2020 and 2021 where the bubble has played out there's going to be some more short selling opportunities. I don't know how many, I'm not saying we're going to be due for a giant crash, but you want to be prepared. And I like what and you said. And being prepared, a great point. So being prepared mean, means having access to the stock and the shares you want to short. Yeah. It's one thing to say, oh, this company is very top heavy. I think there's some news that's going to come out negatively impacting the stock price. Getting ready to go short the stock only to find out your broker doesn't have access or doesn't have access to yeah. the shares. There were so many great pump and dumps in the past few years. And sometimes I would click and there's just no shares to short. Sometimes I would get executed like 250 shares <laughs> and the thing would drop. And that's the pre-trade zero, Tim, obviously we're talking about. Yeah, hundred percent. But I was like a hardcore leper back then. I lived in a cave, very <laughs> cynical, very unpopular, like most short sellers. But I think that there's a way to be a short seller and still be relatively, you know, conservative yeah. and, and, you know, happy in life. And I think, you know, just what we've come through over the last, you know, eight months, nine months with the whole meme stock phenomenon and, and uh, you know, the citadels of the world being cast as the devil and hedge funds that were short, you know, 120% of the float and the like. What we're really talking about here is the facilitation of short selling on an intraday basis, uh, really looking to uh, facilitate those intraday volatility moves that many of these stocks will make. So we're not really talking about like the hedge fund perspective, yeah. which, you know, may some may deem as being un-American, shorting more shares uh, than, are, than are in the company's float. But giving people the opportunity on an intraday basis as stocks, you know, create that, those intraday moves of capitalizing not only on the long side, but also yeah. potential on the downside. You don't need to short big. You don't need to be a billion dollar hedge fund. You could just short some of these absolute junk companies and situations and profit as they crash. It's inevitable. It's going to crash with or without you. You might as well take uh, some profit. I want to go back to that one thing that you said. If you don't use the locate, you can sell it to somebody else. Correct. Explain more about that. Well, whether you use it or not, okay. when you no longer need it, yeah. we have a facility called marking it for credit. And on a FIFO basis, when you hit that mark for credit button, 
those shares, the located shares now become available to the next customer or the next trader that wants to short that same stock, they would essentially be buying it from you. Nice. And, 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 and then, so the, the locate that you no longer need, yeah. you'll be paid something, yeah. uh, a percentage of what the, uh, what the locate is currently trading at. Nice. And the person will be able to get it. Uh, so it gives us another source of supply as well. So if you, let's say I shorted, let's say I saw a giant pump and dump and I'm like, I want to short 25,000 shares. You give me the locate. Yep. Whether I use it or not, yep. I could then, what is it? Mark Market for credit. I can market for So credit. let's say you short the 25,000, you cover. Now you, you made your 2,500. Let's say you made a dollar on that trade. Yeah. You can now mark those, the 25,000 shares locate for credit. So the next customer that wants to short the stock would be buying the locate from you. For that day? For, for that, that day. Week? For can that I, day. Can I do it for multiple days? Locates are only good for the day. Gotcha. So they expire at eight o'clock at night. If you hold the stock short overnight, yeah. that becomes a borrow. Yeah. How much can I make in a day? Like I, so if I can like guess which stocks are going to be heavily in demand for shorting, yes. I could then make money for that. So we've actually, an unintended consequence of the system we've built is a great point. Oh, we've the had people are going to get richer. Make money just on the locate That's without even cool. shorting the stock. A lot of times, to your point, these are all the, the pricing for locates are based on supply and demand. Yeah. Many times in the morning, lots of supply, lots of demand. As the day moves on, if the demand continues, we yeah. run out of supply. Most times, the locate pricing will increase. Nice. And so it's like you Uber surge pricing. Buying it early, selling it late, there's a potential that... What time can I wake up? Teach me to so wake up early. We start the locator at 6 o'clock in the morning, Whoa, Eastern, Eastern uh, and it's good until 8 o'clock at night. So what you're saying is I should go out in L.A. and have fun and stay <laughs> up. <laughs> and stay up until, right when the club's closed. You can start locating. I'm like, now I have a reason. Like, I was going to go home early, but I got to stay up and get my locator yeah. in. So if I lock in my locate, let's say I know it's going to be a heavily shorted name. Yes. I lock in my locate, whether I use it or not, if you guys do run out by the end of the day or midday, I can then sell that back to the next customer that much, wants how it. How much can I profit? What rates do you get? It, it's, it's really supply and demand. I can't really quote rates, but we have seen people actually profit on the locate fees themselves. Like how much? Give me an example. 50 uh, bucks? Someone buying it at a penny, selling it for three cents or four cents. Okay. We've seen that happen. So you literally can basically just trade the locate. That's, we've seen oh, that. Oh, it's a whole new world. <laughs> this is gonna bring the lepers out of their caves. Uh, the sun is- It has, be, it it's has. It's beautiful. The lepers are now gonna be able to afford skin creams that will get rid of their ugly, miserable disease. <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful world. This is. Why did I know the about longs, this? The shorts, we'll all live together. Literally, I'm just starting with Trade Zero. This is something I just learned on camera. This is very cool because you know that a lot of these plays are going to be heavily shorted. A lot of these short squeezes, a lot of these giant pump and dumps. It's not a question. Yeah. It's a question of if can you find shares to short. And if you have the borrow and if you go out in L.A. or go out in New York and you stay up, Go out in New York till like, you know, Four now, I'm, now I'm gonna have to bring back my, you know, Korean like late night karaoke. <laughs> this is dangerous. He was just right? saying from two to 5 a.m. is karaoke time, so. This is obvious. <laughs> Why don't you know this? We're in New York right now. You should know this. I'm gonna test this out. Leave a comment below if you think I should test this out. I'll document my night out in LA or New York. I'll stay awake and I'll show exactly how I get the borrow early on and then maybe I'll take a nap right? Because I don't encourage you to stay up and trade. That's very dangerous. Learn from my younger self's mistakes. But you go take a nap. Then by when, when could it run out? By midday? By afternoon? Possible. But for us, because we have this other facility to allow people to sell their shares back, yeah. the shops really never close with Trade yeah. Zero. But so even if we're out of shares now, the potential is you can sell the ones you got earlier in the day, yeah. so the shops never close. But you're not, so you're not running out, but you can charge a premium. And so Correct. the early locators can then participate Correct. in that. Correct. Ooh, I love secondary <laughs> markets. This is beautiful. This is like, why don't you talk about this Well, this, this is more? our secret sauce. This is uh, the short locator. It's, it's, it's the product we're most proud of because it, when it's did an this innovation. Start? In July of 2019, we actually have a patent pending Ooh, on that technology. What's it called? Like out of the leper the caves? The Trade Zero Short Locator. I would call it out of the leper <laughs> Yeah, that's the subtitle. You have actually. to understand all you lepers out there, all you short sellers, you think that you have to hide in the shadows. You can come out. The sun is shining. Dan P has a nice halo <laughs> above his head. This is beautiful. Click the link below, check this out. I'm gonna check this out. And again, leave a comment below if you want me to document my night out in LA or New York. 
I'm going to go out all night. I'm going to stay awake. I'm going to get the borrow, and we're going to see what happens. Awesome, awesome. I'm looking forward to that.